Let's continue to read Hebrews chapter 2. Warning to pay attention. We must pay more careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For if the message spoken by angels was binding, and every violation and disobedience received its just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore such a great salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. God also testified to it by signs, wonders, wonders, and various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. So there's a lot just in this little part. Listen to this. How shall we escape if we ignore such a great salvation? Exactly. So the wages of sin, we already went through that in Romans, is death. Um, basically, wickedness, mal malice, all of that, <clears throat> which is against the rule, the law, the commandments, it, due process is death. But the Lord provides us life, not only just life, but eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, into paradise. So... How great is the salvation, right? How great is this salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. God also testified to it by signs, wonders, and various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. Absolutely. When you are saved, you will realize that you have a gift, the Lord gave you a gift. The, let the Lord reveal that to you. If you don't know yet what that is, remember we talked about the fruits of the Spirit, and we also talked about the gifts of the Lord, how if you're a person that can speak well, speak well, speak well to God. If you're a person that can sing, sing well, sing it utmost to God. If you're a person that can encourage, if you're a person that can love, if you're a person that can give, if you're a person that can help, all of those things are gifts from our Lord and Savior, are gifts from the Holy Spirit, and allow those gifts to be utilized. And that is part of that fulfillment. You'll, you'll feel it. You'll, you'll know. The Lord will reveal it to you, and you will know. Man, oh man, when it comes in sync and in line, you will know. You've heard it, maybe. Maybe you've heard it. Maybe you've heard someone be able to uh, have presence, have presence, um, speak clearly, um, communicate, um, sh be there when it counts, be there when it's needed, um, be, be wonderful at making something, whatever that may be. And the Lord provides these gifts to us. Some of you may think that they are just humanistic talents, but when utilized correctly, they go above and beyond. They're the best of. And so think of the Lord as he knows, he cares, he sees, and he provides gifts for us so that we too can accomplish and conquer our goals. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 